Hey everyone, it's Phoebe, and I have some great updates to share with you for our flattening tool. So let's dive on in and have some fun while we learn. So we've had some really nice updates when it comes to our flattening tool, especially with our own Chloe avatars. But we've also done some really nice updates for when you're just bringing in other OBJs and wanting to flatten patterns on them. So we've made sure that all of those great updates with our own avatars where like it's nicely laid out, it follows where like the front and back should be for the avatar and all of that are also applied to our OBJs. So here I have an OBJ and I've put some like lines on her and now I'm ready to go to my flattening tool which is all the way over here in my 3D window and my 3D toolbar. You can see like the edit 3D pen avatar, the 3D pen avatar tool, and then flattening. So I'm going right here and I'm just going to select my patterns by holding down shift that I want to flatten. So I can just hold down shift and select those. I don't want this one flattened. And I'm just going to hit enter. Now this is nicely laid out. I can kind of see my front and here. This I can see is my side. This is my front. So I'm going to go here, here. This is my back, front. And it's all really nicely laid out for me. So I don't have to do much work. I forgot to hit this one. I'm going to hit enter. I realized that I just forgot to do my sleeve. So that's on me, but guess what? I can just go to my outdoor pen tool here, click. I'm gonna hold down control to create curve points. Now I'm just gonna click to end. Great. Now I can go to my flattening tool, select here, enter, and now I have my back. So now this is really much nicer, how this is all set up. These are sewn together because I flattened them all together. The front I flattened separately, but if I just select and delete, and now I go to my flattening tool and flatten them together, they'll be sewn together as well. Really nice, right? Of course, like I'll keep on editing these patterns around how do I need, but now the placement and everything is all really nice and it's following the placement. This also really is nice for when you're doing objects like this. Of course, I can just select all of these flattening places. Hit enter. And you can see like it's all here. Really nice placement. This is up top. This is meant to be the top sides, all of that. I can of course rotate this around for where I want it to be. Nice, right? I just realized this should probably be this way. And yeah, so now with our binding and of course it's sewn, which is really, really helpful. And this is sewn here and here. So all of this is sewn really nice and it's all place here really easily. Really helpful, really nice and easy update. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, use that comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our YouTube channel. There's a lot of great videos for you to learn about. And thanks again so much for watching. Keep having fun in class.